Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience here in the South and our online audience tuning in. Thanks to our friends at iHeartRadio as well as Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, a lot of us are watching a lot of films and television from home these days. Over the weekend, had a chance to watch a 90-minute documentary that I think you guys will really enjoy as well. It's called Heart of the Shore. It chronicles the, the cleanup effort and the impact after Superstorm Hurricane Sandy. We're going to talk to someone who was and actually involved in the cleanup effort and the work that they were able to do with their company. We're excited to welcome Andy Reichel to our program today. Hey, Andy is the Vice President of Matrix New World Engineering. We'll talk to him not only about the work that, that Matrix is able to do, but also their part in the cleanup and the work that they've been able to do now for 30 years that they're celebrating this year as well. Andy, thank you so much for the time today. Really appreciate it. Hey, good morning, Cyrus. Great to be here. Oh, the pleasure is definitely all mine, Andy. We're going to get more into uh, the, the doc, Heart of the Shore, here in a bit. I want to start off, though, by talking about, for those who are just now hearing about Matrix, I think everyone can remember the, the impact and the devastation that happened with Superstorm Sandy. But what was it like for you with Matrix to be able to see how you all were able to meet that challenge and to be able to help with that effort? Well, I'll tell you, Cyrus, I had a unique experience. I was, uh, well, one, I live at the Jersey Shore and I'm a marine engineer. I've been around the world practicing that craft for a while, and uh, all of a sudden it came right to my doorstep. So um, it was unique, and it was um, it was certainly um, rewarding and a pleasure to to be able to help my own community in, in a skill that I had you know um, sort of crafted over a, a large geography and and 20 years of experience. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I mentioned, of course, uh, you know, the work that you're able to do with Matrix, Andy, and one of the things I noticed when I was prepping for this segment on the website, it talks about how Matrix is able to meet engineering and environmental challenges. How did they get involved with the, 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 the Superstorm Sandy cleanup? Well, you know, we have this, this history of, of responding to environmental uh, disasters, and it all started <laughs> with uh, in the Gulf, if you all remember the um, the oil spill in the Gulf. The BP oil spill. We were in there with 40, 50 people, and 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 we were there for a couple of years responding to that disaster. And uh, we met a bunch of folks that were familiar with hurricane response, and and just sort of by chance, as we were leaving Louisiana and going home, Hurricane Sandy or Superstorm Sandy, you know, hits our hometown, and we knew all these folks that were involved in response down in Louisiana and the Mississippi, and we brought some of them up, and and uh, we're able to sort of plug them into the response in New Jersey, and we supported their efforts. These were contractors, folks that you know were familiar enough to be able to bring in big equipment and remove a roller coaster from Seaside Heights or a house from Bayhead, and those sort of things. And met um, the challenge that the state had offered us at the time, which was make sure the Jersey Shore is back by summer and ready to go. And we <laughs> met that we met that challenge. <laughs> You know, I want to talk about that because one of the things the documentary does, and we're going to talk more again about the reflection for you because, as you, as you said, this is something that literally hit hit home. Uh, that the doc really it not only focuses on the storm; it does what I, I think you know what I appreciate so much about documentaries like this is that it takes you into the lives of the people. I mean, some of these people, I'm sure, Andy, you knew yourself. What was that like for you to be a part of? you know, of, of being able to share their stories. And because a lot of times we hear about the numbers, we hear about the storms, we don't really think about the people. What was it like for you to share the story of the people? Well, I'll tell you, you know, most of what you see in the, you know, you'd see in the media about Superstorm Sandy were the really devastating stuff that happened to the ocean front in towns like Manilokan and Bayhead and these, you know, million-dollar homes. And, you know, that, that made for good pictures. But those folks, you know, frankly, could find their own way back and, and, the best, you know, the stories and the, the, the sort of um, rewarding part of the work was to see folks that and help folks that did not have those kind of resources. So mm. cities like, um, you know, Union Beach along the Bay Shore and Brick Township in, in uh, Ocean County where folks, you know, frankly, this was all they had. This was, uh, these were houses that they had big mortgages on and a lot of, a lot of them got left behind and, 
you know, to this day, Frank, you know, the sad part is to this day, some of those 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 neighborhoods have not recovered. Yeah. We are looking at now eight years uh, from, of course, uh, Superstorm Stan, Sandy, Andy, and, of course, a lot has happened in 2020 for sure. Talk to us about the changes. I mean, what was it like for you to kind of see, you mentioned the charge that you were getting, it were given to kind of bring it back, but what has it been like for you to see how far it has come since then? Well, this is where, you know, government has actually done a good job here and, and instituted uh, regulations and and, and uh, protection efforts to make sure that, um, at least to the best of our efforts, that that kind of devastation doesn't happen again. Whether it's to, you know, respect to building codes um, or flood walls in in urban areas, and and there's also been you know efforts to provide assistance for folks to raise homes and the rest, or and, and a big part of. Sandy Relief was um, community development block, block programs for affordable housing for those folks that were uh, pushed out of their homes. And I think that's the thing, again, for us to never forget the people. And I think that's why something like this is so important. I want to say for those who are just tuning in, either on the radio side or online, you're listening to Conversations Live. I'm excited to welcome Andy Reichel to our program today. Andy is the Vice President of Matrix New World Engineering. We're talking with him not only about the work that they're able to do in meeting engineering and environmental challenges, but also the challenge that they face with a Superstorm Sandy with the cleanup there. And now, of course, that's being chronicled in a new documentary that's out through our friends at Amazon Prime Video. It's called Heart of the Shore. The subtitle is a Defying a Superstorm. Uh, I watched an interview when I was prepping for this uh, conversation with you, Andy, that you had uh, with the producer of this doc, uh, Ron Elliott, and you all were talking about, of course, you know, how this all came about. Um, what do you hope people take away from this doc? I mean, it definitely shows the devastation, but it also shows the resiliency of the people. Is that one of the main things you hope comes out of this? Well, you know, we, we as a as a state, a nation, a commu- you know, our individual communities, we we're we're being stretched to our limits uh, with social media and people trying to tear us apart. And uh, efforts like this, I think, really show you know, who we are as a people. And I can remember, right. you know, very explicitly when Superstorm had Sandy hit, it was communities coming together and helping each other in the same way that we saw after 9-11 and, and other, you know, sort of extreme events in our lifetimes. But I hope people remember that. It's that, like, this, these are these are things we could come together on. Why not do it in everyday life? Yeah, yeah. And I think that – I'm sorry. Go, go ahead, Annie. No, that was it. Okay. <laughs> I'm, no, I, I was just going to say, I, I think that is why this is so timely for us today, uh, because, you know, I think, you know, as we're kind of looking at the world we're in right now where so much is happening, this idea of people coming together, you know, for the good of others is so important. Uh, the website for Matrix is Matrix, um, and it's, um, is it is it New World um, for, for the site uh, with just one W, right? It, that's right, matrixnewworld.com. Although two W's will work, one W is the name of the site. <laughs> All right, so matrixnewworld.com is where you guys can go to find out more information about the work that Matrix does. I, I wanted to bring up one more thing from the site, though, and I referenced it here, but now you, you guys have been doing this for over 30 years. Um, you know, What do you think, I mean, as you kind of look at businesses, um, I have to ask you how Matrix has kind of evolved even this year. Uh, Andy, I mean, how have you kind of had to deal with that own challenge? You're used to now helping others with their challenges. How has the company dealt with the challenges that have come this year? Well, I think, you know, we had this unique experience where we were helping other people be resilient uh, over time, and it presented us ourselves in, in the last year. And we used that experience, I think, to, to really fortify our own, our own, um, our own business and, and, and keep our own employees employed. And it's been a, uh, you know, it's been a challenge, but we met the challenge and um, we're glad we're as strong as ever, frankly. And and we're and going into 2020, we're we're really optimistic um, for New Jersey and the country. All right. So again, everyone, MatrixNewWorld.com, as you heard Andy mentioned, it, it's with one W, but two Ws will work. So make sure you guys head over to the site to find out more information about Matrix and their services as they are celebrating now 30 years. Again, our guest for this segment has been Andy Reichel. Andy, really appreciate you stopping by and looking forward to having you back on the program again. Great, Cyrus. Great to meet you. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.
by and I appreciate the time. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.